Hey besties, it's Nat back again with another Happy Home Paradise speed build. And today we are in the woods with my bestie Biff. Um, he asks for something to do with aliens. I cannot remember what it was, uh, but I don't care because I had a concept in my mind and I executed it with perfection and I'm very proud of it, so that is why I'm showing it to you today. Now, many of you besties may be familiar with this build because this is actually a recording of a stream VOD that I did in March? Wow, oh my god, that was so long ago. Uh, but yes, I do stream over here on YouTube, and we do sometimes play Happy Home Paradise, uh, and we do sometimes build uh, Biff's alien house, and it's a lot of fun, so you should come check those out. I don't have a schedule right now, but I'm working on it. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit, but uh, I just want to quickly talk about uh, Biff for a second. Um, so, th like I said, the concept is um, alien conspiracy theorist cabin slash bunker situation with like a little secret going on in the attic. Unfortunately, we could not put a secret in the basement, which is what I would have preferred. Uh, it's very rude of Animal Crossing to not allow you to choose where you put the second room. I'm imagining in my mind like a... Um, a webkins type situation where you know you you have like little boxes and you can like choose where you put the room as it's attached to your central room you know some 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 ui design tips for nintendo if 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 the the they're watching this video right now just letting you know besties you could do that and let us let us do that and happy on paradise please thank you um but yeah we're, we're gonna put a little surprise in this attic and it's gonna be really fun i was going for like a very much uh very much a moldy and uh, a scoldy uh, type of vibe. Not less less a scoldy, much more moldy. Uh, yeah, he wants to believe, besties, he does. And he does believe, and he should believe, because there's literally a UFO flying outside of his house. Um, I wanted there to be lots of power lines. Uh, I, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm, I I grew up in Maine. I, I went to middle school and high school in Maine. And uh, if you've ever been to Maine, besties, or anywhere like it, rural in New England, like a Vermont, you know, what it looks like um and it looks like this so this this build came very naturally to me i was like oh no i know this person i've met this person um and i've seen their house i haven't been in their house uh so that the inside was more more creative liberty but i have been outside their house i have driven past this house uh and i i know the vibes we switched it to summer i think this is the summer grass because i like the weeds better or maybe this is the spring grass. I forget. And I like I, I think it's summer though. And I like the um the the green. I it's nice. Wow. Incredible commentary. <laughs> I'm on my A game today, you can tell. Um, but yeah, lots of weeds, very overgrown. I just wanted it to look like a highway that you're like driving through and you just drive by this house and you're like, oh no, 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 absolutely not, absolutely not. Keep driving, I'm not stopping here. I'm sure Biff is a really nice guy and you know, no offense to Biff, but just like I'm not stopping at your house, bestie. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the gas station. I'm not stopping here. Um, I have these big tanks, he asked for these. Once again, why? Beats me, besties. Beats me. I don't know. Uh, but yes, that's that's Biff's concept. And he seems to be enjoying it. He's standing there. He's watching. He's having a fun time. Um, and I was having a fun time on the stream with you guys. This is a really fun stream. And it just came, I think, because the house just came so naturally. I was like, oh, yeah, no, I know what we're doing, besties. I know what we're up to. I really miss streaming happy home paradise as often as i used to i had a lot of fun streaming it lately i've been using the streams as an opportunity to play different games we've been playing a lot of retro games a lot of wii and gamecube stuff uh, and some Game Boy stuff too uh I, i'm gonna actually when this video goes up uh an hour after that at 2 p.m eastern standard time i'll be playing city folk and then we may also play some harvest moon for the gamecube so uh come hang out besties it'll be it'll be a fun time uh, but I definitely want to stream more Happy Home Paradise soon because I do miss it and I have ideas for streams. I keep saying that in every video. I'm like, I'm going to do another HHP stream and we're going to do the one where you like you guys build my build and we're going to do more tours and everything. And I am going to do those things, but likely after I move into my new place because it will be much easier uh, to schedule those. And also I should probably focus on packing and not on streaming. Uh, but I should, I do need to pre-record to make sure that I, I can post for you guys, uh, while I'm moving. Uh, so I have to, I have to do that. <laughs> uh, quick check-in with Biff. Uh, you may have noticed this giant antenna, 
uh, that I'm trying to place down in this field. I really love that object. I used to have that on my own island. I had like an observatory in the middle of a lake and I had this the huge antenna and I loved it. But she's so big and uh, I don't think that we kept her. I, maybe we did. I, I know that I wanted to make space for the, for the UFO. The UFO is more important to me than the antenna. And I think I, maybe I got rid of the, 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 the tanks. Maybe that's what I got rid of. Because, you know, a pro tip for Happy Home Paradise, when you first place down a villager's house, you can just give them the things they want on their list and nothing else. And they'll be like, wow, this is stunning and gorgeous and never been seen before. And they'll love it. Um, and then you can come back. And when you come back to renovate their house and make it an actual house, uh, you can put whatever you want. You don't even need to have the required objects. Uh, so... Yeah, besties, if he wanted those those tanks, doesn't matter to me anymore. That is none of my business, no offense, Biff. Uh, you know what is my business, though, is changing it from daytime to nighttime uh, so that it's more atmospheric, you know? The, the full moon is out. You can see the aliens are landing. Um, it's a vibe, besties. I initially tried the fog, but it wasn't it wasn't enough. I needed the dark, and I needed the headlights on the car and the UFO landing in front of it. That, that was what I needed, and I got it, and it was great. Um, we're on the inside now. Um, the way that Biff's house looks on the inside is sort of like a representation of what my bedroom looks like right now. Uh, it is a mess, uh, but you know, I am, I'm, I'm packing, so you know, forgive me besties. Uh, but this is what his house looks like. Uh, it's going to be very grimy. It's going to be, you know, Biff doesn't really care about what his interior looks like. He just needs it to be functional for him. Uh, because, you know, he's not long for this earth besties. Oh, no, I don't mean it like that. I just realized what that means. Like, okay, no, he's, he, he's leaving with the aliens besties. This is just temporary. You know, it doesn't need to be nice. And, you know, that's, you know, that's what the government wants him to do is, is have a clean house. That's how, who is, who are they to tell him that, that his house is, that his house is gross, you know, but he has everything he needs. He has, he has his bed. He has his couch all sloppy, obviously. He has his table and his sink in his kitchen. I think those are also sloppy. Um, he has a mini fridge. He has a broken radio. Uh, he has uh, uh, some bugs on the floor. We'll get to that, besties. We'll get to that. But, you know, it's it's all, all the necessities, all of the comforts of home uh, for Biff. It's what he deserves. Um, and this this room was a lot of fun to do. I, 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 I remember in chat people like giving suggestions of like gross things we could add to this room and i think actually it was it might have been a chat suggestion to like make the room look like this but i can't remember off the top of my head but yeah i love i love hanging out with you guys on stream and building stuff it's really really fun uh all of the loudest cars in america are driving by my house right now and i listen okay maybe that's my own fault you know what you know what i've been holding off talking about my move because i want to spread out the moving uh chronicles diaries throughout several different videos i don't want to do it all at once and we're going to be making some some uh, new apartment related content uh so be on the lookout for that besties uh but uh, one thing i will say is that my new apartment is so quiet oh my god it's so quiet it's like on a side street instead of on a main road uh, so it's, there's no cars driving by and like, it's, there's, my neighbors are quiet. It's like, oh my God, it's just peaceful all the time. And it's wonderful. And I'm so excited. I, I went there, I've been going there every day now that I've gotten the keys to like check, like, oh, they turn the lights on, they turn the gas on. Uh, I was measuring things. I went to Ikea. Oh my, we'll get into my Ikea adventure in a little bit, but, um, yeah, I had them, uh, turn on the, all the utilities and everything. And I would go over there and I'd just like sit in there and I would be doing my measurements and I'd take a little phone call and talk to my dad or whatever. And not a car would drive by. I'd be there for like an hour and there would be no cars. Besties, can you imagine? I'm going to be the loud neighbor now. That's so exciting. Oh, wow, besties. We're, 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 you're in for a treat. See, this is also part of why I want to schedule the streams for after I move because then it'll be, mm, it'll be excellent. No cars, no music nothing just you and me hanging out uh, i'm super hyped for that but yes my other moving related story that i'll impart to you today some big words for you there well, you're welcome besties um i went to it's to ikea yesterday to buy a couch and i felt very grown up uh couch very expensive uh seeing the charge show up on my phone after i bought the couch very traumatic did not enjoy that uh, but uh, I'm excited I got the couch, 
and uh, you know, I, I did a little exploring. I picked out a, cha a new chair for my desk. Finally, 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 the desk chair. It's happening, besties. I <laughs> finally getting a new desk chair. It's been months. I just haven't had a chance to go to IKEA and like sit on things, you know, because like I don't want to buy a desk chair online and then I find out it's uncomfortable and I have to send it back. You know, I just want to just sit. I want to do the sit test. Same with the couch. I want to do the sit test. Sit down. Test it buy it you know it's very simple very easy so we got a new desk chair um i've been looking online at stuff like rugs and and i have to i have to get i have to get a living room bestie so we're, we'll be we'll be experiencing that together but yeah i went to ikea it was very fun i did not get meatballs unfortunately um i did not have time uh but i did get popeyes so that was fun and the couch is getting delivered on Thursday, and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm just I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I had fun at IKEA. I, I'm I'm excited uh to move and to decorate and everything. And it's just it's a very hype time for me, you know? And I my hope is that that can transfer into my videos and I can take advantage of my new living space to make the videos more hype for you. So, you know, look forward to that besties get into it <laughs> once again great voiceover excellent voiceover um i think you know what looking back at this i think the reason that i love doing messy houses like this is because i love clutter uh it's the same thing when i'm making a sims house like i just love making stuff messy like in the same way that i overuse the spider web in this game i also <laughs> love using the spider webs in the sims 4 that came with the vampires pack oh my god the werewolves pack comes out next week that's so oh my god i completely forgot about that uh that's gonna be exciting i love i'm that person who just likes to build items i know i know it's annoying it means that i i buy a ton of packs that like gameplay wise i'm not gonna be playing with werewolves besties no offense it's not for me but uh, m much love to the occult fans and the sims community because every time the sims teams announces an occult pack coming out there's a bunch of people who are like no one asked for this i'm like no offense but like so many people asked for this i totally get why you personally did not ask for this but um the idea that no one asked for this very untrue so shout out to all the besties who love an occult who are getting werewolves next week who love the sims um i hope that the pack is everything you wanted and desired uh in werewolf gameplay uh because personally i have no strong feelings about werewolves w one way or the other i think they're fun you know they're fun guys uh i'm excited about the normal size telescope they're releasing finally and you know i love a like a like a rustic a rustic vibe as you can tell by what's happening in uh sd biff's house right now of course oh and yeah we gotta get the security cameras we have security cameras everywhere um what accent do i have today what's happening like what's happening to my voice um we have security cameras everywhere you know he's got to keep the security on lock because of what's going on in his attic which you're about to see in just a minute but yes sims i love a rustic vibe um i am excited i saw some of the objects I, they posted like all the objects that are coming in the pack and a lot of them look like they'll go very well with eco lifestyle which is probably my favorite pack for built items uh so yeah i'm i'm hyped for it um i have sims content coming to the channel soon i always say that just like how i keep talking about the streams Ooh, this is this is um a fun i was i was um <laughs> i was changing the time of day to make sure it was the time of day where the uh the radio or not the radio the tv is playing like static and like the aliens show up I, that was very important to me for biff that he has that because if it's gonna be nighttime like, we might as well have the aliens on the tv you know like why not um i don't know if i went with the static or the like dropped signal i'm not sure which one uh but you know i'm pretty sure i have this build posted to my happy home paradise page which i'll have the code for in the description so you can check it out yourself you can come explore you can come see what's going on in biff's attic which we're about to get to right now but yes i keep i, <laughs> I keep teasing sims content and um I'm, and and streams and stuff it's coming I promise. I'm just getting back into my twice a week upload schedule now that I'm moving. Um, it's not going to be 100% twice a week until after I move. Oh, we're giving him a new outfit. What did we give him? Oh, we didn't give a new outfit. Never mind. Okay. Well, you know his his gold bar shirt is classic, so we'll, we'll let him keep the gold bar shirt. Uh, but yes, uh, after I move, I'm going to be much more comfortable going back into two uploads a week schedule. So 
you can look forward to that. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, this object I found out from my last Happy Home Paradise subscriber tour video that I did back in February that you can put objects in there and they'll float in like the the, the goo and the liquid. Uh, I think that the <laughs> the person whose build I looked at, they had a duck in there and honestly that's perfect, but I don't remember what I put in there. I might have put a statue, I might have put a gyroid. I'm gonna put some gyroids on this conveyor belt, like he's like producing them in his weird factory. Uh, I feel like, I think the concept for this was like, Biff has made contact with the aliens and they're using his house as kind of like a base and he's sort of letting them do what they need to do in the base, if that makes sense. Um, we have these servers going on. I love this flooring. I have this in my bathroom in my own uh, house back on my island. Uh, this like gross, like old cracked flooring. Uh, we have this, this like chair, this like weird torture chair. <laughs> I don't know what it, what it's for, but um, we have it. You know, they're doing experiments in here, besties. Get into it, I guess. Oh, I'm putting some bugs down there. I think I put the I think I put the roaches upstairs as well to like, you know, it's cohesive. You know, there's there's roaches downstairs, then there's roaches upstairs. Okay, these aliens aren't particularly concerned with cleanliness, which maybe they should be, because um if you've ever seen War of the Worlds, you know how that went, besties. It did not go well for them. Uh but yeah, here we are throwing down the gyroids. I don't remember which I think I put the crumploid because he looks really sad. Like he like he looks like he's been experimented on. Um, or maybe I put this like weird, I, I definitely put the spike noid because he is a, so annoying and I put this guy and I think I put this dude with like a little beak. He's kind of cute and he's like, like very robotic so he matches like the vibe of the room. But yeah, this is back in March so like I didn't have that many gyroids in my game or like in my, um, my catalog at, at my disposal when I made this. Uh, so I guess that's why it is the way that it is. I don't remember, I think I did a, I might have done a normal computer, um, I don't honestly don't remember. I was just throwing down all these items that like I normally don't get to use. I think the last time I used these was before I even started recording Happy Home Paradise videos. Um, I did, uh, who was it? Is it Dom who asked for like a weird like robot building factory or like a robot like mechanics garage or something? <laughs> I did Dom's house, um, which was really fun. Love Dom, love that guy. Uh, but I used all of these things in his house and now I get to use them again And I think I, I did a lot better of a job with this than I did with Dom's house uh, Which is fine because then you guys don't have to see Dom's house. It's in your business, you know Wow, my my bestie Biff has a new desk chair. I have a new desk chair in the future future me has a new desk chair It's so exciting. Oh, yeah, we have to have the monitors up here besties We have to have the sound because the sound from the monitors is really key. Oh speaking of sound. Oh my god Oh my god besties I did another Dream Address tour, uh, this time of Amber and Pixel's Island, Atasha. If you have not seen that video, I'm going to link it in the card. Please, oh my god, the vibes on that island. That island is so, mm, it's so, like, like, lush and, like, immersive. Wow, big words again. We love it. Um, but it's so, like, it's so, it's so immersive and, like, the sound design on this island is impeccable. Like, the, in, both inside the houses and also just, like, when you're walking around outside, like, all the gyros everywhere and the music and, like, the mixture of waterfalls and bugs and everything. It's so perfect. You have to check it out. Um, like, like I said, I'll have it linked in the card, please. Uh, I am obsessed with what Amber did with that island, um, and I just want as many people as possible to experience, uh, the joy and the loveliness. Uh, but yeah, this, this, while I was saying all of that, uh, we were, uh, adding more servers. I think I keep those. Yeah. I wanted it to be claustrophobic. I wanted it to be like, you walk in and you can't see what's going on back there. Like you can't see the weird, the, the scary chair, you know, but you can see like a little bit of the blue light glowing. You can see like, like you can hear the gyroids making sounds, you know, it's like, it's like, what's, what's back there. And then you walk back there and you're horrified. Uh, that was the vibe that I was going for with this. Uh, oh my god, that reminds me, Nope is coming out next month. I'm so excited. Let me know, let me know in the comments what your favorite uh, alien-related movie is. I love alien media. I think aliens are so fun. They're my favorite cult in The Sims. I just think aliens are fun because, like, they're so different. Because, like, they're, they're literally, they could be anything. Like, they could be little green men, but they could also be, like, like, they might even not have, like, a physical form or just, like, I don't know. It's just vibes, you know? I love, I love aliens. I just think they're fun. Um, I don't know how I could possibly pick a favorite alien movie. I love, uh, Alien. Uh, love that. I love, uh, Close Encounters. I love, um, Contact. 
uh what else i love like old alien movies and i love like the the classic uh godzilla movies as well and there's a lot of aliens in those so let me know in the comments what your favorite alien movie is like i'm curious i want to know uh or you know if you're afraid of alien movies i used to be afraid when i was a kid to, but to be fair when i was a kid i was afraid of like every movie like any movie that had like a, a monster with a big mouth like open its mouth near the camera so like anything with dinosaurs including jurassic park um, oh my god, Ice Age. I was so afraid of Diego. I don't even want to get into it. I'm 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 shaking in my boots just thinking about it. <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comments, besties. Favorite alien media. This is this week's version of anime recommendations. Alien recommendations. Besties get into it. Oh, we're shining things. Okay, besties, you have to remember to shine things and polish things. Um, I don't remember what polish I ended up going with, but I think I ended up using a polish. I don't remember. Uh yeah, I was polishing that guy like crazy. That 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 was too much electricity for me. But I think we left a little bit. But yeah, this build was super duper fun to do on stream. I I came in with a clear concept and a goal, and I executed it perfectly. And rewatching this has really inspired me to like, get back into Happy Home Paradise and the shorter form videos. And I need to work on some villager houses because doing these hour long speed builds for my island they take it out of me besties i'm not gonna lie they really do but i i you know i need to get back into these shorter videos because they're really fun um yes his his house is called i want to believe and now we're in the outro thank you all so so much for watching if you liked this video make sure to leave a like and a comment letting me know it really helps out the channel if you really liked this video and you want to see more videos like this you can subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time that i post uh and you can join my discord server linked in the description if you're watching this video on the day that it goes up I will be going live one hour after it goes up uh, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time playing City Folk and Harvest Moon for the GameCube. So make sure to swing by and say hello. I'd love to see you there, bestie. Um, and ooh, check out my Atasha Island tour video. Uh, I guarantee you're going to love it. Uh, that island, I think about it every day. Uh, and you will too after seeing this video. But yeah, uh, shout out to Biff. Uh, love his teeth. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you all again on Saturday. Bye! There's no wave today because this is pre-recorded, but just imagine it happening right here. Yeah.